Welcome to this edition of the AE Report. I'm Dana Feigenbaum. Conference play is near the end for fall sports and championships are beginning. Let's take a look at the top 10 plays from the month of October. Starting us off with number 10, Cameron Diaz with her first career goal and a fantastic one at bat. Diaz drives down the left end line waiting for a UNH defender, but no one stepped up to challenge the freshman. She cleared a shot from the impossible angle into the upper right corner. Moving on to number nine, another first career goal. This time it came from Stony Brook's Julie Johnstonbaugh. On a throw in, she came charging to the ball and headed it low into the right side of the net to score, which proved to be the game winning goal. Number eight, moving to the men's side, non-conference play. Hawks taking on nationally ranked Syracuse. Blake Jones with a clutch goal to tie the game in the second half. Song sends the ball to the left side of the box where Jones places it into the right corner to send the game into overtime. I don't know what was better, his goal or his celebration. On to number seven, Binghamton taking on Hartford in the second set. Bailey Walker goes all out for this dig to keep the play alive. The Bearcats win the point with a huge block. Bearcats were down by four, but they go ahead to win the set. Back to some women's soccer action at number six, Riverhawks taking on the Catamounts. Big night for the freshman from Iceland, Nat Risendotter. Off the ball from Vieira, she played the ball off the defender and beat the goalie to shoot the ball into the left side of the net. Coming in at number five, Albany taking on Binghamton in their dig pink match. Michaela McCauley sets up Laney Leindecker for a beautiful spike in the Great Dane sweep of the Bearcats. Going back outside for number four, Maine taking on UMass Lowell. After trailing almost the whole game in the first overtime period, Danielle Aviani breaks away from her defender to shoot the ball over the goalie and help the Black Bears get the 4-3 win in overtime. Switching over to the men's side for number three, Andrew Shotput sends the long ball up the field to Chris Wingate. Wingate gets his foot on the ball for a right-footed volley to hit the ball into the left side of the net for the Wildcat goal. On to number two, Landon Warren channels her inner softball skills to knock this ball into the net for a goal for the Catamounts. Molly Higgins' shot was blocked at first by the Riverhawk goalie. However, Warren's hand-eye coordination paid off as she batted the high shot down into the net. And your top play of October comes from Michael Scott of UMBC. More like bend it like Michael Scott. With only his second goal of the season in 18 seconds after New Hampshire had scored, Scott makes this shot look easy. His long range shot bended to the right far post, tying up the game that eventually ended in a tie against New Hampshire. AmericaEast.tv is your source for all championship coverage. For AETV, I'm Dana Feigenbaum.